It's clearly a village, yet you can't see a single house. Only rows of half-buried trees seem to be greeting you. Don't be scared. I'm taking you to visit the Mosquito Village. Just pick any small hole on the ground and walk in. You'll find a big door. Push it open slowly. Wow, turns out hidden inside are underground courtyard homes. But the land above is flat and wide, so why live underground? Well, actually, the ancient people here didn't live fully above ground or fully below it. They lived halfway in between. These were the half-underground houses common on the ancient Low S Plateau. These homes cleverly used the soil's stable temperature, staying warm in winter and cool in summer. But you can't just live okay. You want it to be comfortable. Wooden structures above ground still let wind in. So to improve temperature control, people dug these houses deeper and deeper. Eventually, they built them entirely below ground. A big courtyard sat in the center, surrounded by dugout cave rooms, with a passageway left for entering and exiting. Living in these cave rooms, winter winds couldn't reach you, so it stayed warm. And in summer, cool air sank down, making it even cooler. But if a heavy rain came, disaster. The whole place became a swimming pool in seconds, a danger zone. But a smart person like you wouldn't be defeated by that. First, you built a wall around the roof and added a slope to stop rainwater from flowing in. Then you dug a drainage well in the courtyard to store excess rainwater and let it slowly seep away. Just like that, the danger was solved. Nicely done. For better sunlight and dryness, you placed your parents and children in the North Cave dwellings, which get the most sunlight. The East-West Caves served as functional areas, like the kitchen and storage rooms. Livestock and toilets were placed on the far south side, away from bedrooms, keeping noise and odors far away. And just like that, you've invented the pit courtyard home. Among these homes, the pit courtyards of Shanzhou, Henan are the most famous. They follow traditions like plant trees instead of building houses. Courtyard entry needs no door, home entry needs no gate, and you won't see people from outside. In 2011, the craft of building pit courtyards was listed as a national treasure China, but pit courtyards became truly famous because of a geography question on the college entrance exam. So, would you dare to live underground like this? Comment yes or no!